Hey, hey everyone, happy Sunday. How is everyone? I've had a mental Sunday. Before I get into tonight's live, um, today has just been an absolute, like, done my Tesco shop, took the kid for his boots. He's basically going on this moonlight thing with scouts. I don't know if you've ever heard of the, uh, of the moonlight event, but basically it's like a, a sort of district-wide manhunt so you've got you've got to drop your scout at like a um secret location which they tell you about two days before and then they've got 12 hours to get from one location in West Lanks to somewhere else without being caught by another team so madness but Joe's feet are like size eight so to try and get him some boot no size nine in his trainers he's 12 size nine so i was thinking i need to get him some bigger boots so we ended up with size 11s so that he could get these massive fluffy socks underneath them so we spent like about an hour in the shop trying to flip in walk around and make sure they're comfy and oh he's gonna have them on for 12 hours but yeah i get a whole child free day next saturday so anyway um enough about scouts um i wanted to jump on tonight and just talk talk a little bit how i went from being completely sort of the mum who couldn't say yes a lot um frustrated with where i was it, it, my story is basically if you've not, never heard it before i'd been through a divorce i had two young kids i work full time i've always had a full time job but what I was finding is, and probably like a lot of other people, you can probably relate to this, but you, you, your wages pay your bills and then you've not really got much left after you've paid your diesel and your fuel and everything else. You've probably only got like 100, 200 pound left at the end of the month. And if something goes in the house or something extra that you need, like a kid, you know, a kid's trip at school, it's gone. Um, and I wasn't getting paid maintenance either, which was just causing me this like immense frustration every month when that 200 pound didn't come in. I know it sounds staff but that 200 pound like made a massive difference to my income and I just was in a place where I was like I was such an, in a negative mindset like all of this stuff is happening to me and there's nothing I can do about it and you're probably watching now thinking what who is that <laughs> um but that's where I was I was just completely in a, a bit of a negative dip in my life because I was just feeling as though I'm all on my own I'm trapped in my house I've only just got enough money to pay the bills, the maintenance isn't getting paid, I was just in this cycle of like negativity and like woe is me, this is happening to me until one day and I'd started going for like um, healing sessions so I'd been seeing a healer once a month um, and I just started to have a little bit of a mindset shift and start to think actually you know all of this stuff isn't happening to you it's happening for you you know like there's always a reason why you're being diverted and rooted to somewhere else even if you can't see it right now and when I started to think of life in that way and think like why am I being shuffled over here a little bit I started to think actually I need to take control of this whole money situation as well like instead of getting like frustrated and annoyed every month when that money didn't come I started to think like what can I do? Do you know, like, I'm smart, I've got a decent job, like, what else could I do? And I looked at all kinds of different things, like, I looked at, you know, like, traditional businesses, I looked at opening a salon, I went and viewed some, I priced up the loans, and I just thought, you know what, like, it's such a massive expense to start to launch a traditional business and you're in debt for a long time and thank god i didn't because look what happened in the pandemic you know like i'm so glad that i didn't go down that path um instead what i did was i thought i'll dip my toe into the online world and i started a business where i was taught how to using a simple social media strategy how to share stuff that i love from my phone um in the house with my kids um and I can honestly say it's transformed my life from where I started. Like, it's crazy to think that when I started my business, all I wanted to earn was £200 a month. And it, even when I earned that first 10, you know, like five, £10, once that money hit my bank account, it was like a light bulb went off. And I was like, oh my God, there is an actual way that you can earn money in your house with your pyjamas on, with your kids around you, without going out to do more hours at work you can you can actually do this this is a real thing you know like you can just sit on your phone for half an hour you know connect with people share things that you love add value to the world 
and you can make a bit of extra money for your family like it was like a light bulb went off and I was like I no longer need to be frustrated about the money that's not coming to me from over here because there's something that I can do for myself you know like I can do this in little bits of time like I say this to people every day because my, none of my days look the same either I don't sit for hours and hours on my phone I can't I work full time so nine till five is out of the question um I use little time slots hey Linda hey Trish I do like a little bit in the morning I use time blocking so I'll do like 15 minutes in the morning I'll do half an hour on my lunch break little bits in the evening every day looks different but I actually I love that because if the kids need me the kids get me if I've got spare time I can use that for my business and I no longer waste time watching it like I, I've probably traded a little bit of my tv time but now I've surpass that first goal that I set for myself of I just want to earn that £200 to make up for the maintenance that's not been paid it turned into so much more because I found a passion in it I found a passion for like helping women to feel confident and beautiful in themselves whatever age they are and I found a passion for teaching other women how to earn money themselves from home you know like that's probably my biggest passion um right now is just showing busy women like me that there is a different way um so yeah that is that is like um that's what i'm most passionate about and that's what i love to share so yeah and now i've, oops, I've got a look here oh, that made me jump i could hear like steps behind me and jack is he knew i was on a live so he decided to, i've got my ironing board up he decided to crawl in so he didn't disturb me like how cute is he um <laughs> you're okay <laughs> Um, but yeah, I went from just having that little goal of £200 a month and I was able to absolutely now just it, it kind of once you've hit that first goal, you, your belief in yourself grows and then it's like this is a business that you can build into something substantial just using a few simple strategies like I keep it super simple I teach all my ladies a four-step system that they use every day and that just sort of teaches them how to widen their audience how to build using social media it's just I like to keep it simple four steps so that you don't get overwhelmed so yeah I just wanted to share that with you because now I feel like I'm the mum who can say yes lots more we can have more holidays more trips away and if the kids want something I don't feel like I'm saying not this month not this week you know like it's made such a massive difference and I just feel that I've got a gift to share with other busy women so if you know if you've been watching for a while and this resonates with you in any way please just reach out to me um, and we can have a little chat and see if it could be a fit for you I don't bite I promise <laughs> um, and it's my favorite thing to talk about we can grab a brew have a chat and see see if you think it could fit into your world but yeah have an amazing rest of your Sunday whatever you're doing I'm going to try and figure out something to cook so if you've got any ideas because we also had in amongst me going shopping for the scouts boots so that he could go to his moonlight event and um, we had a leak in the kitchen so the other half's been in the kitchen sort of with everything pulled out from behind the cupboards trying to put new um, pipes in and all that kind of thing so I normally cook I normally spend Sunday afternoon cooking something nice but because we've had everything pulled out and the, everything's been turned off I've not had a plan and I've not got much time now so if you've got any like winter warmer quick meal ideas please just pop them in the comments because I need some inspiration that would be a massive help for my Sunday dramas with my kitchen but it, everything seems to be working now so just need to be able to cook something a bit quick but have an amazing Sunday whatever you're doing and I'll see you soon